We could see you. We miss you. We hope that uh, you enjoyed that little snippet of life here. It's hard to capture it all, but um, that's a little taste. So we wanted just to give a quick prayer update and um, include some prayer requests. So uh, first of all, we want you all to know that we are very happy and that the Lord has answered so many prayers in bringing us here. Um, and we feel like we're doing good work and work that he intended us to do. So thank you for praying for us. Um, Gloria a Dios. Praise the Lord uh, for all of his faithfulness to us. Um, but we do have some things that we'd like you to pray about. The first one um, is just kind of in general about the, the state of our life right now. So a lot of <laughs> what we are doing right now is not what we expected. Um, as some of you may or may not know, we are basically functioning as the base leaders for this YWAM base. And we were alone, just our family here for about a month. And now we are hosting um, 12, 11, 12, 11, 11. Uh, 20 year olds uh, that are on their outreach portion of their DTS. And it's <laughs> kind of felt a little bit like the blind leading the blind, but it's been good. Um, but we are spending way more time in that role than we are really in the agricultural role that we were hoping for. Um, <clears throat> whether it's, you know, cooking breakfast every morning for 15 people or just all the maintenance work that has to be done. Um, so we just are asking for prayers for um, just for servant hearts and for patience and for unity um, and just for a continued contentment that we are in fact doing what the Lord wanted us to do because he foresaw all of this um, and just trusting him. Um, however, we know that this season won't last forever and in this time we really feel like the Lord is growing a vision in Andy for um, large scale agricultural work. and. So Andy's going to tell you just really briefly about what we feel like the Lord is leading us into so that you can be praying about that for us. When I when we first got here, um, I prayed a lot about, just for the Lord to give me a vision, give me a vision for what um, he would have us do in this place. You know, something that would, um, something that would glorify him and be of a real useful, um, usefulness in the, in the local, in the local villages to the local people. And uh, the Lord has definitely given given me a vision, and um, I'm super excited to be working with a with a local indigenous man named Simone. And Simone has also been given a vision from God, and uh, it's it's been super exciting because after working with him together for a couple months now, we we really have the same vision, and our um, our goals are to use this time right now to learn everything that we can about sustainable agriculture in this place, in this context. So we've, we've created multiple experiments, a lot of different things that we're trying and doing to see what works, what's effective. And then our goal is to take that information, to take that knowledge that we've gained into the local villages um, and to go work on different islands in different settings with different villages and um, to help create farms and to um, begin hopefully meeting some of the physical needs here as a way of gaining entrance into the lives of, the, of, of these people. So part of that grand vision um, is that our family would live on a sailboat so that we would be able to um, anchor outside of whatever island we were working with and live for however long we needed to to establish um, an agricultural uh, program there and then be able to move on to another island to do that. So we're really praying about that possibility. Um, we're excited because here in a couple weeks we'll actually be moving on to a sailboat 
um, and will be living on a sailboat that belongs to the people who used to be the base leaders here. And that'll give our family a chance to try out our sea legs <laughs> and decide if that's, um, if that's an insane idea or actually a doable idea. So we're really looking forward to that. But just would ask that you guys would pray over this vision for us. We kind of have this um, statement that we've come up with, cultivating hope and dignity one farm at a time. And I think that kind of sums up the vision that Andy feels like the Lord has given him and the vision that the Lord has given Simone. And um, so we're, we're dreaming big, thinking about starting our own nonprofit, praying that the Lord would bring people to work with us. Um, so we just ask you guys to join us in those prayers, that the Lord would give us wisdom and discernment, um, that he would give us the, the resources and the ability to pull these things off, that he would bless Simone and Andy's efforts here, um, that he would give us patience, um, and that he would be glorified through the things that we are doing as a family. So thank you guys for letting us um, share those things with you and entrust those things to you in prayer. And um, we're just excited. So just as a side note, we've decided as a family not to come home until April which is the very last um, kind of time that we can come home because of our visas. And just because we feel like um, we are, we are, there's momentum with relationships, momentum um, with the, the farming projects that Andy and Simone are doing, and momentum with language. And we just feel that to leave sooner than that would be detrimental to those things. So we'll wait until April. Um, so we will look forward to seeing you all then. And the kids are going to share just each one thing that they just really are thankful to the Lord for. And then one thing that you as a church can be praying for them for. So just... Caleb, what's something that you are thankful for? That, um, at Starfish Beach, that's our favorite, um, beach. And um, thank you for um, that there's no Uncle Ma's and it, I met a friend that I was playing with and he was really nice to me. And Caleb, is there anything that our church can pray for? That, that speech, there's not much Uncle Ma's and I can learn how to swim. Very, no, mostly how to swim. Bye. Hi guys, miss you so much. I just wanted to share a couple things. Um, one thing that, or rather two, couple things that I'm thankful for is the friends I've made here. Simone's daughters have been such a blessing to me. It's, it's so nice to be able to go over to their house and say, we got a kickball and we go down to the volleyball court and we play kickball. I'm horrible at kickball, but it's still fun anyway. And the friends that I've made here on this space that speak English, all the college age students that it's so much fun to have connections with them. And um, the things that I, was that I would like you guys to pray about is my, my Espanol. Mi Espanol es muy mala. <laughs> Just saying. So, would you please pray for my Spanish? <laughs> Thank you. Adios. Ciao. Ocean depths, it's full.